Unitree's H1 humanoid robot just made headlines again, and this time, for all the wrong reasons. During a testing session in China, the robot reportedly malfunctioned, causing chaos at a research facility. Not only did it damage valuable equipment, but it also injured an engineer in the process. A second engineer had to step in and manually shut down the machine before things escalated further. Yes, you heard that right. The robot had to be physically powered down because it wouldn't stop acting on its own. Welcome back, guys. Alfie here, bringing you another shocking update. AI robot attacks, engineers on camera, and AI Nexus will cover every detail as it unfolds. Let's go. This wasn't just a minor glitch. This was an actual incident that raised alarms throughout the robotics and AI community. Because when a robot designed to work alongside humans begins behaving unpredictably and even dangerously, it's more than a headline. It's a warning. So, what exactly went wrong? Preliminary reports are pointing to a malfunction in the robot's balance recovery algorithm. This is the system that helps a robot detect when it's falling or off balance and then take the appropriate action to regain stability. But in this case, the algorithm apparently misinterpreted its surroundings or internal signals and began behaving erratically. That erratic behavior wasn't just stumbling or twitching. It involved forceful, uncontrolled movements that were strong enough to damage lab equipment and injure a person. Not life-threatening injuries, thankfully, but enough to leave bruises and, more importantly, serious questions. This event is bringing back memories of another unsettling episode earlier this year, when a similar Unitree robot caused a stir at a tech festival in China. That time, the robot reportedly attacked attendees, or at least behaved in a way that startled and confused people. While no one was injured in that case, the optics weren't great. And the recurrence of such incidents is putting a very bright spotlight on Unitree's safety protocols. The timing of this couldn't be worse for the humanoid robotics industry. As more companies race to develop AI-powered robots that can function in homes, factories, hospitals, and public spaces, incidents like this one shake public confidence. And understandably so. If a robot designed for helpful tasks can suddenly go rogue, even in a controlled environment, what happens when these machines are out in the real world? Let's break this down from a technical perspective. Balance recovery algorithms are supposed to be among the most robust systems in a humanoid robot. They're trained and fine-tuned to recognize a variety of situations. Uneven surfaces, accidental bumps, or shifts in weight. The robot analyzes sensor data in real time and adjusts its posture, step, or momentum accordingly. This capability is crucial because humanoid robots, by design, walk upright on two legs, just like us, which is inherently unstable compared to wheeled platforms. In the case of the Unitree H1, something within that loop went haywire. Whether it was a corrupted sensor feed, a misfired control command, or an edge case bug in the AI model that interprets that data, we don't know yet. But what we do know is that the response from the robot didn't de-escalate the situation. It made it worse. That's why engineers had to manually intervene. Imagine that. A machine powered by sophisticated software, designed to learn and adapt, suddenly becoming a threat. And the only way to stop it was to pull the plug. This brings us to a much larger conversation. Fail-safes in robotics. Any autonomous system, especially one operating in close proximity to humans, should have multiple layers of fail-safes. These can range from software interrupts that shut down systems under extreme conditions, to physical kill switches that can be activated in emergencies. The fact that manual shutdown was the only option available in this situation is, frankly, unacceptable. It also raises concerns about testing environments and protocols. Was the test conducted in a space designed for safe failure? Were the engineers equipped with quick response tools or wearables to remotely shut down the robot? These are the kinds of questions that will now be asked, and not just by regulators, but by investors, partners, and future customers. Unitree has not yet released an official statement about this latest incident. That silence speaks volumes. In the absence of clear communication, speculation fills the gap. And that's never good in the tech world. Transparency is critical in situations like this, especially when public trust is on the line. 
This also isn't just a unitary problem. The entire industry should be paying attention. We're seeing an unprecedented acceleration in humanoid robotics. Tesla's Optimus, Figure 01, 1X's Eve, Aptronics Apollo, all of them are building machines meant to work in environments designed for humans. These bots aren't behind safety cages like traditional factory robots. They're supposed to move among us, interact with us, assist us. But with that vision comes massive responsibility. Every movement a humanoid robot makes carries the risk of unintended consequences. These machines are heavy, strong, and fast. Even a single misstep can cause injury or damage. That's why companies spend years perfecting their gate algorithms, control systems, and safety layers before any public demonstration. The fact that Unitree is seeing repeat issues in real-world scenarios should trigger introspection across the field. There's also the AI angle to consider. As robots become more autonomous, they rely less on scripted commands and more on real-time decision-making. That means more reliance on perception, prediction, and learning systems. And while that makes them smarter, it also introduces unpredictability. What if a robot misreads a visual cue? What if it hears a sound and misinterprets it as a command? What if it learns a behavior in simulation that becomes dangerous in the real world? These are not hypothetical concerns. These are the exact kinds of edge cases that cause incidents like what we saw with the Unitree H1. And it's not just about hardware and software. It's about culture. It's about how companies approach risk, testing, and disclosure. Are they rushing products to market to beat competitors? Are they cutting corners on safety validation? Are they prioritizing flashy demos over long-term stability? Now, to be fair, robotics is hard very hard. Anyone working in this space knows that building a robot that walks like a human, sees like a human, and acts responsibly is one of the hardest engineering challenges in existence. But that's exactly why caution must take precedence over hype. The humanoid industry is still in its infancy, and every misstep is magnified. A single video of a robot acting out of control can undo years of trust building. It can slow down partnerships, spook regulators, and give fuel to critics who argue that robots are inherently unsafe. And let's not forget the human side of this. An engineer was hurt. Equipment was damaged. Teams working hard behind the scenes now have to regroup, investigate, and possibly rebuild large parts of their system. This incident will have ripple effects inside Unitree for months. But if handled correctly, it could also become a turning point. If Unitree uses this moment to double down on safety, to be transparent with their findings, and to collaborate with the wider community on solutions, they could emerge stronger. They could help define the standards that will shape how humanoids operate in our world. Because ultimately, this is where robotics is headed. Whether it's walking robots, rolling ones, or drones flying overhead, these machines are coming. The question is not if, but how. How do we integrate them responsibly? How do we ensure they help, not harm? How do we build systems that fail gracefully rather than catastrophically? That's the conversation this incident reignites. And it's a conversation we all need to have. Because one thing is clear. A rogue robot in a lab is one thing. A rogue robot in a school, hospital, or home is something else entirely. So let's treat this incident not as a reason to panic, but as a wake-up call. Robotics has incredible potential to improve our lives. But that potential comes with responsibility, accountability, and above all, humility. We're building machines in our image. Let's make sure they reflect our best intentions, not our blind spots. For now, the spotlight is on Unitree, but the lessons are for everyone. Stay tuned. This story is far from over.